This week in Nerf, we've got mod contests, DPCI numbers, and hardware kits. I'm Jangular, and every Saturday morning, this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. Getting right to it, there are two DPCI numbers now available for the new rival blasters, the Hades and the Prometheus. Now, we know that the Hades is starting to make its way into the hands of enthusiasts. Uh, the Prometheus is still a bit elusive though, however, to help aid you in your hunt, Random Shadow has found the DPCI numbers for those two particular blasters. This was posted up on Reddit by Dark Armor Isle, and I will put the DPCI numbers up on the screen for you right now. Uh, you can use those through BrickSeek uh, to input that DPCI number, search your local area, and that will help you know if things are in stock or in the back waiting to be put out uh that kind of stuff now sometimes they may not allow you to uh purchase them but it's good to know that you have them or that that your store has them so sometime soon hopefully but regardless the fact is those dpci numbers are huge in the aid of hunting for new releases because you can check store stock before you go and drive around and just cross your fingers and hope so that is definitely a big plus. Uh, something else that popped up, the Rip Chain, uh, I believe is, is, is maybe starting to show up in some places. We don't have a number for it yet, but Blastaway.eu had a review of it that went up recently. So hopefully those are going to start making their way to shelves that you can find as well. So fingers crossed on that one. It is a... Uh, it's an interesting blaster. It's an interesting blaster. Not for everybody, but should be entertaining regardless. So there's some information for you in terms of going out and looking for the blasters you are looking for. Of course, the more the DPCI numbers that drop, I will share them to get everyone the information needed to find the blasters they want. So let's move on to something that uh, we've talked about in the past, and that is the Spring Thunder by uh, GDOP. And this is, this is just one of my favorite new builds in terms of something that is available for the public um and one of the comments i made about it when i was handling it was i wish it had a stock and he has gone ahead and added a stock to the blaster which is fantastic that makes me excited and uh he also went ahead and added some accessory rails for sh things like holding shells and whatnot and has made more shell designs available through the thingiverse so uh, i believe he was having some issues with the mega slug shell now that is functioning and that is up along with the triple Bo uh, triple boomco flechette and the standard triple rival and uh uh elite dart stuff so you've got options and i'm really really excited about this um, I believe he is working on hardware kits currently, so he's looking to be able to sell those parts to people that want to just make the blaster themselves and not have to pay the extra for him to construct it and do all the, uh, the printing and stuff like that, I believe. And, uh, I, I think he's aiming at around a hundred dollars per hardware kit, uh, down from 170 for the completed blaster. So that is... A noticeable drop so if you're inclined to build and print and all that stuff on your own that's definitely a plus so I'm very interested in that and fingers crossed I will be able to pick one up at some point in the future because they are just an immense amount of fun if you have not taken a look at them definitely do but I'm always curious in following uh, the goings-on of third-party you know small makers creating their own blasters and uh, what they do with them so this definitely something I enjoy sharing but next up there's been a contest going on on reddit for quite a while now uh, they have a a quarterly mod contest and this one was the jack of all trades uh, there was definitely some really cool stuff built for this and the final voting is taking place right now in fact it's ending on Monday so if you haven't taken a look go take a look at these mods there are some really cool stuff in there and definitely worth your time to take a look through. Uh, I know I've gotten requests to do entire videos just talking about the blasters and everything. Um, we can't do that on this show. It would take too much time, but I did want to share with all of you that it is out there and there is some really fantastic stuff to go take a look at. So please do. A lot of people put a lot of work into these blasters and it really shows. So the link for that will be down below. Go vote for your favorite. It's a lot of fun to see what people can put together in a, in a relatively short amount of time. So please go do that. Show them some love. 
Uh, one other thing I want to talk about today, and that is Adam Savage's video. I'm sure you've all seen it at this point. It is his Nemesis build video where he puts a giant hopper on that has a thousand round capacity and makes it look cool. I don't want to talk so much about the build itself and whatnot because we've all seen it. We all know what it is and what it's about. What I do want to talk about is the impact that he can have on our hobby. Uh, his last video for a Nerf Blaster got almost 10 million views. That's a lot of views, a lot of people, a lot of eyes on these videos that may not be a part of or even know the Nerf hobby exists. So we may get more people searching up the Nerf Reddit, uh, Nerf hobby sections of websites like Facebook and Instagram and things like that. So it's very important that we think about that. Think that we may have an influx of interested in new people that maybe haven't done all the research and a ton of... Uh, reading up on all little details and intricacies of things. So if you find people asking questions in the next month or so, consider that. Consider they may be as fresh as can be and may just be dipping their toes in the water and making a post asking a question about what is all this about. Take that into consideration that it's, it's likely not someone that's already in the hobby, but probably someone just understanding that this is this big thing and wanting to get a sense of what the community is. So while yes, we can all bemoan the myriad of beginner questions on things, take a moment to step back and think about the bigger picture here. The fact that this is a great opportunity if people start searching things up to welcome those people, show them that we are a good place, a fun place that is welcoming and friendly, and we want to help people get into this so it continues to grow. So just Think about that. Consider it before you write a post off and don't respond or get annoyed with something because you think it's someone that has already been around and should know these things. Just take a step back and think about it because this is a good opportunity to bring more people in. Whenever someone like Adam Savage or another massive name does something that could draw attention to us, it's good to take advantage of it when we can and, and show people the good of our hobby and the fun and all the joy it can bring. So hopefully we see some good results from new people popping in and seeing what this is all about. But that is going to bring us to our mod of the week. And this week it comes to us from William Robbins. This was on Facebook in Nerf Modders. Welcome this, uh, they're Mastodon gauntlets. That's pretty much, I mean, what else do I gotta say? Look at them, it's awesome. He's, pff, these are massive wrist mounted mastodons. It is so cool to me that he took the time to, I mean, it's an expensive thing to do to pick up a couple mastodons and go through the process of cutting them down and putting this all this together for something that is essentially just fun. It's just pure fun looking. And that's why we're talking about it today because it is pure Joy, I can only imagine holding and firing those. It, as someone that played a lot of Warhammer um, and even worked for Games Workshop, for those of you that play Warhammer 40k, you'll get the reference that this is very Marnius Caligar with just massive bolters on your wrists and just, it's so cool. I would love to run around at a game with these and just go wild. Like, just, just not play with any semblance of intelligence, just... Just shooting in all directions and having a blast. That's what this mod looks like to me. And it, that's it's the right kind of absurd fun for our hobby. And that, that got me excited when I scrolled through and I saw it. And I was like, oh my, how did I miss this? There were there were a number of good things this week. Uh, so I, when I saw this, I was just like, you know what? This is so, this, this is the pure joy that I, uh, you know, that you feel when you're on the field sometimes. And I think that's just a good way to, Really, just put it on your wrists and just have fun with it. I, I, don't, I don't know why. I can't really put into words why I'm, I'm so uh, enamored with this one. Because it's not it's not the most intricate build we've ever seen. But it just looks fun. And I think that's what it, what it comes down to. It just, it's just fun looking. And that's why I loved it. And that's why you should go check it out. Because the link will be down below for that. But one last thing we've got today. And that is the video of the week. This comes to us from Dart Dragon. This is Nerf Rush gameplay from the SENC. 
And Dark Dragon has been doing gameplay videos, does strictly gameplay videos, and, and I thoroughly enjoy watching them, but he elevated the video process for this video as he is doing a multicam game here with footage from not only Naptown Nerf, but also TK1138, and this is just super entertaining and enjoyable to me. It really uh, shows the level of improvement that you can have in gameplay videos and how we can continue to improve them and make them more watchable and, and, and entertaining in terms of our viewing pleasure uh, for these. This definitely elevates his videos to an, uh, the next level for him and I really really enjoyed this video and I think it's definitely worth watching because it does show you multiple perspectives along with drone footage so there's just a lot going on in this video for gameplay that made me really really enjoy it and that makes me want to highly recommend this so please go check that out that will be on the side here in just a moment before we do that though as always, gotta say thank you to the patrons. It is with your help that we continue to grow. And if you wanna go above and beyond to support the channel, beyond just watching, commenting, and sharing, which is already amazing enough, uh, you can head over to Patreon. I like to post there two or three times a week to let people know what I'm up to, what's going on behind the scenes, what we're working on, things like that, and stay engaged, uh, as engaged as possible, because it is an amazing thing uh, that still to this day blows my mind. So thank you to all of you. Uh, and if there are mods of the week or videos of the week you think I should know about, I love reading about them in the comments down below and checking them out. I've definitely seen some really cool stuff from the people that have shared, so please do so let me know. I love seeing the things people are working on uh, down in the comments there. So with that said, uh, if you want to watch the video of the week, it's going to be right over here because we are at the end of the video. And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.